Hey guys, this tutorial will be for the popular 3-2-3 edge pairing method for the Yao method on 4x4. So this video will be a series of examples. The first one will be the most straightforward 3-2-3 example, and then I will have examples for every different type of exception case. So even if you already know 3-2-3 edge pairing, and you're not sure how to handle some of the exception cases, then just keep watching the examples until you get to the one. With the Yao method, once you finish your cross and finish all of the centers, then the next step is to pair up all of the edges. So the first thing you do is slice like this with U, and then the next thing you wanna do is identify an edge at the top. It could be any of these edges, but I'm gonna pick this one and find its corresponding edge, which is over here, and then place it down here so that when you slice back, it will pair up. So we're gonna take this one and move it in like this. All right, so before we slice back, we wanna pair up as many edges as we can. We're gonna pair up three right now. So we look at this one and the next one it's going to pair up with is whatever is over here when we slice back. So we're gonna put its corresponding piece over here like that. So now you can see if you slice back, you paired up two edges, but we can do one more. So we're gonna find the one that goes with the blue red one here and that's this one. So we can insert it in here like this. And then now when we slice back, three edges have been paired. So now all you have left is four edges at the top and one edge over here. So what you do is check the top edge for this one and find the corresponding piece, which is this one over here, also blue orange. So we insert it into here to pair them up. So like this, and then we can pair them up with U. But before we pair them up, check what piece is here because when we slice back, we wanna pair up this one as well. So that will be two edges. So you pair up these two, then you wanna put yellow orange back into here. So, which is over here. So slice, then put yellow orange in like this uh, while taking out this edge. So we preserve the edge and we have a new edge here that will be paired when we slice back. So for the last three edges, typically you do the exact same thing. You see this one is yellow and red. So we wanna place yellow and red here and that's over here so we can insert it like this. And now pair them up. But before we pair them up, check what piece this is, which is green and red. And we wanna put green and red into here afterwards. So pair them up put green and red into here, and then slice back. So we also did the same thing as what we did for two edges, but this last edge here will end up solving itself. And now I'm going to go over some examples where we'll find exception cases, because typically you will not get exactly three, two, three. Some edges will happen to pair by themselves, and then you'll have to do something different. In this first example, what we have after, of course, solving the cross and all the centers is this edge is already done. In this case, we don't have to preserve the edge by taking it out into the top layer. Instead, what we can just do is do our slice anyway. And uh, we have yellow orange here, yellow orange here. So our first pair of edges is already done. Then we can just move on to the next one. So yellow green here, and it's not anywhere here. It's all the way back here. So we can just take this out and move it into here like that. Then we have yellow and blue. So our third edge, we want to put the matching one over here and it is back here, so like this. And then now we can just slice and that pairs up three edges. Oh, actually four edges because we happen to skip an extra edge. So we can't do three, two, three here exactly because we've already done four edges just because one of the edges happened to also get solved. So this is very common and you should be able to deal with whatever you get in this case. So what we should do now is just take any edge that's unsolved in the top and put it over here. Then we can start doing what we normally do but we have fewer edges to go with. All right, so in this particular case, what you'll notice is we have a swap here between these two edges, as in uh, red, blue, red, blue, red, green, red, green, and then these two also need to swap. So this is one of those tricky cases where what you might do is place them in like this and solve it how you normally would, which is to slice on top of each other and then do a flipping algorithm and then slice back and then do the same thing for the other two. Okay, so instead of doing the edges one pair at a time, Instead, we can insert this one into here like we normally do so that the red blue here and the red blue here are ready to be paired up. Now you notice if we pair them up and then later we can do a U2 to pair up these two. So that's an idea we're going to use here. So when we pair them up, we can insert a random edge that's unsolved. So like this one, then we're gonna do a U2 to pair up these two. And notice that this orange blue edge stays in here. And so after we do the U2, we want to slice back afterwards to align the centers, but we wanna also solve this edge here. So we'll insert the orange blue. 
like that and slice back. So that solves all four edges at once without having to do two separate steps. So in this example, of course, we just slice as usual. And then now we have orange and blue and we have orange and blue here so we can insert it down into here. So one thing I notice here is red and green happens to be in both of these edge pairs. So what happens is when I try to get red and green into the next spot, it's stuck in here so I can't do it. And we can't just take this one out because this is the first edge pair that we made. So instead what we can do is pair up red and green and then just insert some other edge in and then go back. So now we're back to the same step, but we've solved one extra edge, which is this one. And we're just gonna continue as usual. So now instead we have a different edge, which is green and yellow. And then we need to put green and yellow here. Oh, it's already there. So our last edge is red and yellow, which is this one. And we need to put red and yellow here. So like that. And then unslice to pair them all up. And then, so now we do this one. And in this case, we have three more edges on top. This is not three, two, three. We have one extra edge done. So instead, instead of having five edges at the end, we have only four. So of course, proceed the same way as usual, yellow, blue, and we find yellow, blue here. So we insert into here, slice. But before we slice, check what this one is, red and blue. So we wanna put red and blue at the bottom now. All right, now we have two more edges, so we can just do how you normally do it. Uh, put them in so that the same pieces are lined up together and then on top of each other, flip and go back. All right, so in this example, again, we just slice first and what you'll notice is this edge happened to get paired. Now it might be tempting to take it out to make sure you preserve it, but actually you can just ignore it because you'll see why at the end. So we'll just do yellow and orange here um, which is this piece here. So we can take it out and insert into here. And next is yellow and green. So we need yellow and green over here. That's our second edge. And then we need red and blue over here. So uh, that's this one. And you'll see what I did there at the last edge is the last edge is replacing this one that was solved. So what happens is it actually just preserves itself. So now we can unslice and we've solved three edges and then just proceed as usual. So orange, blue, uh, we want orange, blue into the bottom spot and slice. Then before slice, check this yellow and blue. So we want yellow and blue in the bottom spot now. So like this and then unslice. Okay, so in this example, we slice as usual, red and green here. Oh, okay, it's all the way over here. So in this example, uh, by the way, we happen to accidentally solve two edges, but like I said last time, you can just ignore that and they will naturally preserve themselves. So red and green, and there's another red and green over here. So it'd be tempting to do U2 all the way over to here and take it out to preserve it. But what you can do instead is to take it out like this and then just insert it into the front. And then now you're ready to continue. So yellow and orange, and this time I'm gonna try and do it without rotating, which is a good habit to get into. Uh, so yellow and orange here, instead of always inserting it into the front, this time I'll insert it into the back. All right, then lastly we have orange and green, which is happens to already be here. So we can just unslice, and notice how those two edges earlier that we solved by accident did preserve themselves. So just remember when you do the slice move, if you happen to get edges that solve themselves, you can just ignore them. All right, so now we have this one and we want to put yellow green over here, like, like this. Then we want yellow blue over here afterwards, and after we slice, because it was this piece. So this one, and then unslice, and that's it. Okay, so in this example, we're going to slice as usual, and then green and yellow here. Uh, I want to put green and yellow into here, so like that. Then next one is blue and yellow. So I want blue and yellow into the next spot. And then now I have orange and green, so I want orange and green into here. And see how it's over here? So we can't get it over to here if it's the last edge. So we have our last edge to be paired up with something over here, but we notice it's just in the spot next to it. So the reason we can't move it over is because this one here, uh, we can't disrupt this. So what we're gonna do instead is just finish and slice back. So we've only solved two edges, which is okay because we're gonna go straight into this one and this one. So we just move on as usual. So we just do these two and then um, red and green, we want this one into here. 
So that's this one. All right, then red and blue, uh, this one. Then yellow and orange, which is this one. So the last thing I wanna go over is last two edges. So like this and this. If you happen to get last two edges, what you might do is insert one, insert the other so that their pieces are across from each other and then do this and flip them and then go back. So if they're already on the top layer, both of them, there's actually a lot of nice algorithms to solve it without having to put them both into the side layers. So in this case, if they're already across from each other like this, you can do this algorithm. I'll do that again. Now, if you have the two edges next to each other, you can do this algorithm, which is just an OLL algorithm with wide R moves. All right, now when you have the edges next to each other, but they're in a different order, then you can do the reverse of that algorithm, which is also a COLL algorithm, so you might know that. All right, so if you think I've left out a case or something useful, please leave that in the comments and I might add it to the description. And of course, leave any questions you have in the comments or check the description for a link to my Facebook page and you can message me from there. I'll be happy to help you. See you next time.